and I'm actually going to be doing a few things that I've been putting off for quite some time. Has not been touched since the boys were basically first born in the first few months of their lives. Crazy how much these smell like the early days of the boys. I started on our fridge. I'm really gonna sell myself out right now. I'm gonna show you guys what it's looking like. I need to go through some of this stuff, like I said, mainly the dressing. Good morning, guys, and welcome to today's vlog. It is currently 8 o'clock in the morning, and I am outside of Starbucks. I did not go ahead and bring the boys with me this morning because it is so cold out. It is 28 degrees, and I did take them with me yesterday, and they kept saying, I'm cold, I'm cold, coming out to my car. So I just decided to leave them home with Harris today and, you know, save them from the cold weather and just go out and grab coffee quickly for Harris and I by myself, and I also wanted to take the up opportunity to start today's video. So today is Sunday. We don't have too much going on today, but I am going to, of course, take the opportunity to get a few things done around the house. And I'm actually going to be doing a few things that I've been putting off for quite some time. Things that just have fallen to the bottom of my to-do list every time I go and do something. One thing being cleaning out my fridge, it has just been so neglected and it is actually pretty empty. We have to get groceries tomorrow. So I figured today would be the perfect opportunity to take out whatever's left in there, go through it all, garbage does go out tonight i think tomorrow is mlk day martin luther king day so i don't know if the garbage goes out i have to check our little like garbage calendar and everything like that but my wishful thinking is clean the fridge out of everything that needs to go while also being able to physically clean the fridge out so that's one thing i want to do today the boys clothes that they got from harris's parents for Hanukkah are still sitting on the floor in their playroom upstairs so I want to finally go ahead and hang those up and then I do have to switch out one of the boys drawers in their dresser which I'll show you guys what I'm talking about later on so those are a few things that I want to get done today we actually thought that Ben had COVID this week there was a COVID case in his class um, towards the end of last week and so on Thursday he woke up with just a smidge of a runny nose and felt a little warm I'm thinking now he was warm just from sleeping under all of his blankets but I did do a COVID test and it came back with a very faint positive so of course we had to keep the boys home from school that day and then he was acting completely normal on Friday no runny nose no fever no change in demeanor at all so I decided to test him again on Friday and that home test came back negative so I've had the boys home with me since Thursday because we thought that they were sick and had COVID. Jack still has no symptoms and keeps testing negative. So I think the home test that I used on Ben, I either did wrong or it was a fluke and it came back positive. But now his second test came back negative. So I've been stuck in the house with them the last few days and we're feeling a little bit cooped up. So we actually have plans today. I think we have plans today with one of the boys' friends from school, but I'm friends with the mom and Harris is friends with the dad. Um, of course, all parties are aware that we thought Ben might have had COVID, um, but because we have tested him since then and it's been negative they're completely fine doing something with us so i think we might do something with them later on in the day i'm hoping um that winds up being the case to kind of get some human interaction and get the boys some interaction because we've been cooped up with each other for the last few days but that's my long-winded intro for you guys i'm going to eat my croissant and drive home from starbucks and then in a little bit i'm sure i'll get a game plan together and we can jump into what i have to do today Okay, I'm still in my comfy clothes. I thrifted this set a few weeks ago and I've just been living in it. I have yet to get dressed today, but I'm going to start on what I want to do in the boys' room. So I mentioned how I want to switch over one of the boys' drawers. Thank you, baby. Um, this one here, if you guys saw my video, I don't know, a few months ago now at this point, I cleaned out the boys' drawers. You can see it is super stuffed again. They just have a lot of pajamas and long sleeve shirts just take up a lot of room. And because of how stuffed this is, it's actually bowing down. So I want to actually clean out this drawer here, which has not been touched since the boys were basically first born in the first few months of their lives. I have all of their Velcro sleep sacks in here, all of the muslin blankets and swaddles I used to use for them, some overnight diapers that I was keeping down here. I think these are from like when the boys were like five months old, six months old, seven months old. Um, so this drawer is just stuffed with things that we clearly aren't using and don't need. And we could use the drawer space you're sharing with brother. Got some toys. The boys are going to stay up here with me while I clean this out. So I want to go through this. 
um save what can be saved hold on one second so i want to wind up hanging up whichever muslin cloths i want to save for the next baby put away whatever of these swaddles are still in good condition some of them the velcro is really messed up but we don't need just empty all of this out so i'll be able to use both of these drawers i do want to switch them so the less bowed one is where the most used clothes are and then put like the bow down draw down here and just put a few things down here maybe just their pajamas um so that is my little game plan for this and then this stuff in here this is everything that they got for hanukkah that i want to hang up and put in their closet they have some shoes that i need to put in their closet um whatever muslin cloths i wind up hanging and keeping will go in here and i think that's my game plan yeah stuff for the babies I think that's my game plan for everything that has to get done up here. But I'm going to start with taking these drawers out of the dresser and basically dumping them out. Okay, I went through all of this. I had six of these Velcro swaddles for two of them. I must have literally put them back in the drawer one day when we weren't using them and then decided to never use them. And so they're dirty. So I did put them in the wash. We'll see if those stains will come out. If not, I'll just toss them. But these ones I'm going to save. I loved using these for the boys when they were little. So I'm definitely saving those. These are just some like waterproof like little mats saving those all of these swaddles it's crazy how much these smell like the early days of the boys i had no idea that it would like hold that kind of smell hold on i had to help ben grab something but these smell so much like the early days it smells like the draft it just smells like what the boys used to smell like so these are all muslin cloths i'm going to keep these are some swaddle and hat sets that i never wound up using for the boys so obviously i'm going to keep another little swaddle set those are pajamas that have holes in them i'm going to throw those out with those diapers and then this these are the blankets the boys wore in the hospital that we took home and then this is the outfit or like the swaddle and hat set that the boys wore home from the hospital so this stuff i'm going to put away um as like a memory sake for the boys so this i need to find a spot for all of this i need to find a spot for this stuff i think i'm going to just put in the closet in their spare room on the top or something to save um but i need to find a spot for that stuff and then this is the drawer that is broken you can see it's bowed so low i need to get wood glue to try and steal this piece of wood in there but for now i'm going to try and pop it back into place and then i'm just going to put pajamas in this bottom drawer and then after i wipe this out i will stick these um back into there <laughs>
birthday drawers are in. So I have short sleeve shirts, long sleeve shirts, and then just pajamas in here. So everything is cleaned out. I think I'm going to wind up sticking this stuff up here in the closet. I need to straighten up up here anyway. Um, so I think I'm going to do that as well as hang this stuff up. This stuff is gonna wind up going in the boys closet anyway. So I think I'm gonna do this and then straighten this out so that I can put um, those blankets and everything up here. This is basically where I have clothes that don't fit the boys yet, clothes that used to fit the boys. I have like their changing pad, their docket tots, the other pieces to their cribs that we're gonna need to use soon. This closet is just a bit of a mess anyway, um, holding like old and new stuff. So I think straightening this up is gonna be a good idea. And then just storing all those muslin blankets up there as well. But I'm going to start with taking this in the boys' room to hang out. Okay, we're gonna do a little before of what the top of this closet looks like. And this is after, so they have like their iPad cases and old Uggs box. These are the Abba Baby, no, not the Abba Baby. What is it called? Some kind of baby carrier? Why can't I think Wait, of the name right now? Oh, Baby Bjorn Baby Carriers. I only ever opened one of them, which is like yeah, back there in the that. closet. So I have that empty box and then the other one up there. Some old toys, some old stuff from like their baby shower. That is our old bottle dryer, milk storage bags. And then I did decide to put a bunch of their sleepy sacks away because when we do transition them to their beds, they won't be wearing those anymore. So I have those up here with all those swaddles. Those are pieces to their cribs that we need to transition them to the toddler bed. We have those pieces back there, like I said. So I'm feeling good about the organization of all of that. So now I'm done with everything that has to be done up here. And at some point today, I do want to do the fridge. Okay, I'm still in my comfy clothes. We did make plans with our friends for later on. So I'm just going to wait to get myself ready later on. But the boys are in for a nap and I'm going to get started on our fridge. I'm really gonna sell myself out right now. I'm gonna show you guys what it's looking like. You can hear the boys upstairs. We did put them in for a nap, but they're still struggling with naps. So who knows if they'll fall asleep. But this is what our fridge is looking like it's actually pretty empty right now which is why i'm going to try and tackle it now i'm actually going to wind up taking everything out of here some of this stuff like this jello i made so long ago and it's just been sitting back there that needs to get thrown out a lot of these dressings are so old and we don't use them so these need to get thrown out i think my plan is going to be take everything out and then wipe down all these shelves some of these shelves like this one um something spilled in this one 
I'm going to soak in some hot water in the sink before I physically wash it and then I'll go ahead and put everything back in so I know to some this may be in pretty bad condition to others you might be thinking oh that's not that bad but this is just something that has always fallen to the bottom of my to-do list and I just can't bear to look at it like this anymore so that's why we're tackling this today have the entire fridge emptied out this is everything that was in my fridge i need to go through some of this stuff like i said mainly the dressings that need to be thrown out we have all our extra candy over here from our candy drawer that is full of sour dust that i need to clean out i left all of harris's drinks up there i'm just gonna wipe around those and then um once this is done i will go ahead and wash the drawers that were over here and then reassemble Okay, I cleaned out all of these shelves. I just need to dry them off. And I did like a double spray over on all this stuff. And I did take these drawers out and try and wash them. But there's this weird like gap that crumbs and stuff have gotten into. And I can't figure out how to get in there and clean it out. So all this stuff in the front, even though it looks disgusting, I'm not too sure how to get that out but now I'm going to re-put everything into the fridge dry off these side shelves and get those in and then this will be done after obviously we are pretty low on things which is good we have grocery shopping tomorrow i'll be able to fill up a nice clean fridge but this has seriously been put off for so long and i feel so good that i finally got this done okay guys it is clearly a lot later i mean you can't actually tell because the blackout blinds are down but it is fully dark outside it is probably close to 6 30 and the last time you guys heard from me it was probably around one when i was finishing up the fridge and then the boys did wind up falling asleep I think Ben slept until around 2 because he wound up falling asleep first and then Jack didn't fall asleep until a little bit after 1 and then I wound up getting him up close to 3 o'clock. Yes? I'm in your room! We did wind up going out and having some pizza, meeting some friends for pizza and the boys are absolutely hyped up after the outing. I think it was it's a mix between seeing their friends, having some candy. They just got home and had a chocolate chip cookie for dessert. So I think they're just feeling very hyped up. They're going absolutely crazy in my room with Harris, but I wanted to sneak away for a minute to be able to close out today's vlog. For lunch today, this is so random. For lunch today, I had um, bananas with peanut butter on toast, which is something that I used to eat all the time when I was pregnant with the boys. And then I fell down the vortex of watching my old pregnancy vlogs, which I do every now and then which made me so nostalgic when this video is up. The boys' birthday is actually on Friday, which to me, I cannot believe three years has flown by as quickly as it has. I can't believe it's, I don't know. I feel like when you say three years, you think it's gonna be a long amount of time. And the last three years have seriously flown by so fast. And I look at the boys and I can't even remember what they were like in that super teeny tiny newborn stage. And I am missing it so much and I was talking with my friend who we were out to eat with and her and I um are both just having that itch to have another baby so we were talking about that but all of that combined just made me feel super nostalgic today and I really miss 
the boys being super little and I just can't believe we're gonna be celebrating their third birthday this week coming up um Friday's video is actually going to be me getting ready for my sister to come into town and then Monday's video is going to wind up being the boys little birthday vlog which we don't have too much planned for it but I am going to go ahead and vlog for that but I wanted to jump on here and close out today's vlog I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me be a little bit productive today on a Sunday I love being productive on Sundays because it helps me go into the week feeling like I'm refreshed, I got done what I need to get done, and the week isn't going to feel so crammed and like I'm going to have so much to get done. I feel like I like to leave laundry for weekdays and weekends I like to do like my bigger to-dos, like the fridge and everything like that. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and with that being said, I will see you guys in our next video. Bye guys.